So it appears wide receiver Devontae Parker might not play in Sunday's game at Seattle. And we've got some news to you for you about Jakeen Grant and the return game. Chris Perkins, Omar Kelly, SunSentinel.com. Oh, it looks like, looks like Devontae Parker might not play. Bubble wrap. Yeah, 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 I know. That's your thing. Uh, what, what's the impact of that? I mean, uh, Dem- to me, he's their best playmaker I've on offense. I've heard you say this, yeah. and um, I, don't dis- I don't disagree with you in terms of he has a talent to be a number one receiver. Right. But he's a number three receiver here. There's yeah. some translation that's missing in, well, in terms of uh, talent there, and what's production. I, I think it's called professionalism or maturity, right? Hasn't that been mm. what Adam Gates – well, hasn't that been what Adam Gates has alluded to? He's got to know how to take care of his body. He's got to know how to hydrate um, all of this. All, you drafted all of a fragile things. receiver. Don't be mad that he remains fragile. Well, wait a minute. Gates said yesterday that he, taking care of your body is a 12-month-a-year job. It is. I, I just keep going back to I think Adam Gase is putting this on Devontae and not a frail body, not a fragile body. Okay. It's a guy who doesn't take care of his body. That's, uh, what, I, that's what I'm getting from Adam Gase. He, here's the repercussions of it. Leonte Carew and Jakeen Grant are both going to have to step up. Justin yeah. Hunter just got here. He doesn't know this offense, so yeah. clearly he's not going to be able to play and contribute. Uh, Jakeen Grant, he's been here. He's going to already be active because he's going to be the primary returner. Mm-hmm. And then Leonte Carew, who should be – the seamless sw- seamless starter for yeah. Devontae Parker. That's why they drafted him, because yeah. they knew Devontae was fragile. They knew Kenny Stills was, was basically here yeah. on a one-year contract. Right. Leontay Crew is supposed to be stepping up. They invested a second-round pick in 2017 to get – yeah. Leonte Carew. Let, let's see the production. He's a big body kid, man. I mean, but we just we didn't see enough of him he's in training thick camp. Kid. Let's, let's not call him big a body. Thick, a thick kid. Okay, yeah. a thick kid. He's Probably not, goes he's about not, six one. He's not especially tall, but he's good size. He's Adam, a good Adam size Gates kid. talked about the difficulties that the rookies are having, and this is not uncommon for rookies, is that translating it from the classroom to the practice field is not happening. Right. Now, we, we can cons- assume that Jakeem Grant is a gamer because he's played pretty well in the exhibition right. season. Leonte has not. But Leonte is a guy with the majority of the, the talent. He fits the mold of what you want from a split end to replace Devontae Parker. Uh, Dolphins are going to basically make the best of those two rookies to play with Stills and, 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 uh, and, and Landry, and they're probably going to play a lot of two tight ends. So we, see, we know how that turns out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, uh, special teams-wise – Darren Rizzi was saying today that there's a chance, a chance, he could have just be blowing smoke, that they could use two returners on kickoff and punt. Like I like it, and, dual and returners. I like it. Yeah, I, so I talked to Jakeem I Grant about that. He, he said he's never done it as a punt returner because he's not out. That's because he likes to be the showboat. No, because he hasn't returned punts. Okay. And, and then uh, as a kickoff returner, he said he has done a little bit in college. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about that. He'll well, he look greedy. Here, here's the thing, though. Kenyon Drake showed us something as a kickoff returner, didn't he? Against Tennessee, two returns for 45 yards. Yeah, I think it's. That, I, I that think that was, that's neither what, one of those was special returns. Come on, first. He slipped down on one. He had a little alley. I look. We saw two returns for 45 yards. We saw some good stuff from Kenyon Drake. I think that that's where's Jarvis I think, Landry. I think that that's what a lot of this comes from. You've got to get Kenyon Drake some touches, and he is a good kickoff returner. Why do I have to get Kenyon Drake touches? Because he can help you win. He can help you win. He can gain yards for it. Do you think Jakeem Grant can help you win? Yeah. All right. And Kenyon Drake, from what we've seen, the man's a third-round pick. You saw him in the national championship last year. He got lucky with one good punt. Who, who's to say that right. uh, one good kickoff? We, uh, we're about to end this. Where, why, why are you on Kenyon Drake uh, like this? He, he, why are you on this man? He showed you nothing but good stuff when he's been healthy. Rookies, when he's been healthy, which here's is that my long. Pro- here's my problem with rookies. Right. They don't know what they don't know, can't play at the speed that they need to play in the NFL, and they usually make mistakes. I don't want mistakes. Mistakes is how you lose. You have a small margin for error in the NFL. Mistakes is how you lose. You play rookies, especially those who aren't prepared to play. Jarvis Landry didn't even play right away. You sound like your boy Joe Philbin right now. I want you to know that. I want you, I want you to know that. that. All the stuff you talk bad about Joe Philbin for, this, look, you, you been, see, he rubbed off on you. He rubbed off on you. We're going to end it right there. For Omar Philbin, I'm Chris Perkins. You're watching SunSentinel.com.